In the Indian state of Kashmir, fresh landslides making the already bad situation even worse. A 300-kilometer-long highway was closed, disrupting traffic. The state of Jammu and Kashmir battling the worst floods in more than 60 years. 200 people have died so far, while thousands are stranded. In neighboring Pakistan, authorities stepped up relief operations. The death toll there is more than 250. And as rescue efforts are underway in India, not everyone is happy with the government's response. CCTV's Shweta Bajaj has more. From above, the view of Jammu and Kashmir in India's northernmost state offers a sense of the magnitude of havoc the floods have wreaked in this region. But it's on the ground where the sense of the human tragedy comes to life. Six days after flooding began, there is anger. People call it a complete failure by the local government. My two-story house has fallen down. We were lucky that we were able to escape, but a lot of people are still stuck there. My house's first floor was underwater. Everything went in the water. We have no idea how many people have died and how many millions have been lost. I'm just 18 and I'm really proud to say that I have been rescuing a 40-year-old guy and a pregnant woman from the houses from the past four days. No rescue, no refuge has been came out from the Indian arms or Indian government. They're still saving the VIP pers personals are sitting out there. In this area in particular, over 2,000 people live. All houses here um, uh, have water now, completely lost whatever they had inside. Uh, around this area, this entire place, uh, the water now, though, has receded a little bit. It had actually gone up above these houses. People trying to rescue whatever little they can. This family of seven all now live in this makeshift home, counting their blessings that they are alive. Suddenly, the water level started going up. Everything we had was lost in the water. We just took our loved ones and ran. Now when we go back, we don't even know where our house is. As the night sets in, many of those rescued go to camps, some to mosques like this one. Thousands are being fed and now have been given a roof. Nafia and Alia were rescued after being stranded on the top floor of their home for three days. People made a boat with their own hands and that's how we managed to get out of our homes. And now we are safe at the shelter. They are the reason we are alive right now. People here have collected money and they're feeding us. When we came here, we didn't even have a piece of clothing left. All has been done for us by this mosque. While the Indian military operations in the region are massive, hundreds of thousands remain cut off from basic services. As we head to the outskirts of Srinagar, the epic proportion of the tragedy is hard to digest. People still stranded, hoping help comes before it's too late. Shweta Bajaj, CCTV, Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir, India.